Next question is from Grant Satterthwaite. Are kettlebells superior to dumbbells? Justin would think so. <laughs> what? Uh, it depends. It, it yeah. depends what we're talking about, what exercise, and the person. They're both excellent tools. They're both free weights. I would say dumbbells probably are a little bit more versatile. Yeah. But here's the big difference between them. Um, kettlebell, the placement of the weight changes the feel of the exercise, and it changes the length of the lever. So, like, if I'm doing a kettlebell swing, yeah. the lever is longer, the weight is at Ballistic the very end. moves. In, in, like, power moves, I prefer kettlebell all day. Just yeah. because of the way, yeah, like, it's it, it's set up uh, with the load. Um, but, I mean, they're, they're totally different approaches. And I think that there's crossover because, obviously, you can do, like, you know, shoulder presses. You can do rows. You can do a lot of similar things as, as the dumbbells. Um, but they have their own unique characteristics. And I do love... Uh, the, the way kettlebells feel, especially like in the rack position, and uh, you know, I could I could keep them pretty uh, pretty much in the center of my body, which feels like I have more control. Uh, but it, honestly, it takes a little bit more education and technique uh, to be able to use the kettlebells properly. So I think that's a bit of a disadvantage uh, for kettlebells for your average person. There is like sort of that learning curve uh, that's a little more difficult. But once you get through that you realize the the capability of kettlebells there's it's it's almost like open ended there's just so many different ways that you can apply that to movement and and load uh, your body through exercises well i think you said it best at first which is that it's kettlebells are superior for dynamic ballistic movements so explosive type stuff right yeah. so your swings, your snatches, you do things like that with kettlebells, and I think it's far more effective. It's than, more smooth, and yeah, fluid. than yeah, than doing it with dumbbells. Uh, but to like Sal's point, dumbbells are probably more versatile for the average person just that's trying to exercise. So, you know, I, I don't know. I think I think both have their value. I think both belong in somewhat of your routine. Uh, I don't think you should avoid either one of them, and I think they both should be included. I, we always get questions where it's like this or that. You know, which is which is better and both. Yeah, and when we talk about training, we we encourage people to move in and out of all modalities and tools. Like that's the beauty of all these things is learning how to use all of them. And if you've never used kettlebells before, there's a t tremendous amount of value to learn how to use them. Just the learning curve alone, you're going to get a lot of benefits just from learning how to use the kettlebells. And if you only use kettlebells, you're missing out on some things that you could be using the dumbbells for. So I think they both belong in people's programs. Yeah, one of the, one of the I would say one of the advantages of the kettlebell is your ability to lengthen or shorten the lever. So what I mean by the lever is when I'm doing an exercise with my arms, that is a lever. And, if, and a dumbbell places the weight on both sides of my hand. So the weight is at the end of that length of a lever. Now with a kettlebell... I can either put the kettlebell in front of my hand, like I'm doing a swing, for example. Now the lever is longer. And if you know anything about levers, a longer lever creates more, more tension, resistance. more resistance. It creates more force. A shorter lever has less force, maybe more stability. So I can shorten the lever with a, with a kettlebell too. When I do a kettlebell shoulder press, the kettlebell is sitting on my forearm. And so I've actually shortened the lever with a kettlebell press. Now, what what that's superior for something like, if I were to compare like an Arnold press with a dumbbell, which is with a rotating dumbbell, right. that in my opinion is superior. It's it's superior to use a kettlebell for that. Yeah, because that's of the, way more clunky. It's yeah, the kettlebell is on my arm. It's a shortened lever. Mm -hmm. It feels more stable. The rotating feels a little bit better. So I would rather use a kettlebell for that. If I'm doing like mm -hmm. a sumo squat with a client or myself. Normally, what I'd have to do with a dumbbell is turn it so that the, it, the it's you know uh, vertical, hold it by the bell. Way better to hold a kettlebell uh, in that position. When I'm doing flies, if you want to have stability, dumbbells are better. If you want to change the lever so that maybe it creates a little more tension, try doing flies with kettlebells. Now, when you're going down, the weight is behind your arm, creates a different tension pull. I think the key here is to know that they're both great use them both. Uh, you can do complete workouts with either one, but if you want the best results, you're going to incorporate uh, a little of each.